Hello everyone, welcome back. As you may know, I haven't uploaded videos for two weeks now, and finally I'm back. And before I get started in this video, I would like to thank to my friends such as Sender Tech, JP Production, I Apple Hacker, and Apple Tech Video, Technotron, and some of my other friends. And I would like to thank to all of the fans who support me from the past until now. And by the way, if you want to get this background wallpaper, I also include the link in the description as well. And now let's get into our video. Today I would like to share you a massive tweak video for all of you guys. The first tweak that I want to share with you, it is for the dock here. And it allows you to customize the dock on your iPhone. And it is a very new tweak for all of you guys. So as you can see here, you can scroll on the dock to to see all of the icon and you can open it straight away and you can customize the dock in settings so you can go to settings and then go to dock key so you can search for file icon and then you can also set the dock mode so you can go to default you can go to double or expand so if you use the ball it will give you a two row on the dock but if you want to use expandable it will show the two row when you swipe up and for infinite as you can see here you can scroll infinitely and you can also choose the style for the dark as well you can choose for iPhone 8 or the older iPhone if you want to colorize the apps feature on your iPhone you can install it quick so it gives you a color when you go to apps feature as you can see the background in the apps feature here it gives you the color as you can see and you can go to setting to change the color so you can select on the color here and then you just simply spring your device and now you got a new color for the apps feature as you can see this one is a tweak for the control center it will colorize the control center on your iPhone so you can select the color as you want and as you can see here on my control center the background is in orange color and you can select the color that you want as well you can go to settings and then you can select the color here and then you can select the specific color that you like and after that you just respring and now you get a new color on the control center Usually when you want to enable or disable auto brightness on your iPhone, you need to go to setting, general, accessibility, and then you can go to display accommodation and you will see auto brightness. But with this simple tweak, you don't have to do that. You can disable or enable auto brightness directly from the control center. You just fight down the control center and then hold on the brightness bar and you will see a new button here called auto brightness so you just click on it to enable or click on it one more time to disable it and it is pretty convenient and easy for you this simple tweak will give you a new button on the phone application so when you go to phone application and you can see the call button is much longer and bigger than before this is a very useful tweak from the iOS 13 and it will give you a rearrange app on the iOS 12 and you can just press on the 3D touch on any application and you will be able to see rearrange apps and when you click on it you will be able to rearrange the application on your iPhone home screen and it is a very good feature from iOS 13 this is a very simple tweak that allows you to check the storage on your iPhone you can do it directly on the setting application you can force touch on the setting application and then on the top here you will be able to see the free storage after install the tweak when you go to the home screen you will be able to see the new application here called respring and when you open it you will be able to respring or reload the application and on the device here you can see the information on your iPhone and on the apps you can see the application bundle or you can see the application version on your on this app directly 
This trick will give you an easy way to lock your iPhone from the home screen. You just double tap on the home screen and the device will lock itself. And as you can see, when I double tap on it and your iPhone is locked, this simple trick will give you a new way to view the notification on your iPhone directly from the lock screen. So when you're in the lock screen mode and you want to view the notification, you just slide from the left to the right and confirm with your Face ID or Touch ID. And then you will be able to see the message directly on the lock screen so you don't have to open the application. Each feature will add more function in the apps feature. So when you go to the multitasking or the apps feature and you swipe down here and you will be able to see the three options here. So it allows you to kill all the applications or you can respring or reboot and on the home screen you can swipe swipe up to lock your device and it gives you a very good feature this is a very useful trick for the photo application like when you let someone borrow your iPhone and you want them to see only one photo you can click on the only lock mode so you can hold on the photo and then you can see the new option here so click on only lock and then the borrower only see the photo that you let them see and they can swipe and when it's trying to swipe to the other photo they won't be able to see the the other so they can only see the the one that you set before and if you want to disable it you just double tap on it and it will disable this one is a very cool trick that gives you a new look on the side the application. So when you go to the side here, here, on the left side, you can see the home, the new home page that will give you an update on every new on side here. And on the chain tab, and you can see the, the cell with a new color and with a check mark. And it is very cool and look modern. And on the more here, you can have the search button. And it will give it also give you a vibration when you click on any button on side here now. If you take a look at the bottom here, you can see the home bar here. It represents the battery on your iPhone. So the color here, it represents how much battery that you have on your iPhone. And on the black side here, it shows the background for the home bar. And you can select and change the background color for the home bar as well. So you can click on the home bar background and then you can select the color that you want. So let's go to purple and then apply and OK. And as you can see here at the bottom, the home bar color has been changed. I really like the trick and it is a all in one trick. So it give, it gives you the date and the notification on the home screen here. As you can see when you swipe, swipe up on the home screen and you can see the notification straight away on the home screen and on the top you can see the date and the clock and it is very useful and convenient and thank for watching everyone i hope you like all of these tweaks and i will see you in the next video peace